Hello and welcome back to Got React. Now it's that time of the year where the football season has finished and I made a prediction at the start of the year. So today I'm going to react to my Premier League prediction and oh boy was it bad. Let's get straight into it. Okay, so I'm just going to be reading that off my phone. I'm going to put it on screen for you guys there. So let's start off with the relegation zone. And I said to get relegated, we'd have Bournemouth, Everton and Fulham. And none of them got relegated. I mean, Everton were close. Last day, I thought finally they'd go down. If you haven't noticed, I'm a Liverpool fan. And so I thought finally the rivals would go down. But they didn't. Uh, they escaped on the last day. So I wasn't too far off of Everton. I predicted them 19th. They finished 17th. I was way off on Fulham. I honestly, it, it would have been a good thought at the start of the year. Most people predict the new teams tend to go back down. None of the new teams went back down. And Fulham just absolutely blitzed it. I should have predicted them better. And then Bournemouth. I honestly didn't think they had the squad, but honestly, their season from after, especially after the 9-0 at the start of the year, let's not forget, I thought, oh, it's guaranteed nailed done, they'll probably finish bottom, but Gary O'Neill has taken over and has done a fantastic job. So, fair play to them. Okay, then we move on to the rest of the places up to the European League. So I had Leeds, Southampton, Brentford, then Nottingham Forest, Crystal Palace, Wolves, Brighton, Aston Villa, Man United and Leicester. Um, and there's a few shockers in there, uh, mainly the Leicester one, let's start with that one. Leicester I predicted them to finish 8th, they finished 18th and got relegated, but could any of you have predicted that Leicester would have finished so poorly? I mean, they had a great squad, probably one of the greatest squads to actually go down. The likes of James Madison, we've got Castagna, they've got so many good players, Yuri Tielemans, and yet they just didn't perform all season. And they also had Brendan Rodgers at the helm and I thought he'd, he'd get them up there. And we forget that only a couple of years ago they won the FA Cup. Only a couple more years before that they'll win the Premier League. They've been European regulars. So to see them get relegated was a massive surprise. I'm not sure many people would have predicted them to get relegated. Um, but yeah, that has really skewiffed my table, that plus 10 there. Uh, Man United to finish outside Europe. I honestly didn't think Ten Hag would do a good job. So fair play to him. That's coming from a Liverpool fan. Um, but I think next year they'll they'll fall off once the likes of Liverpool are back. I'm predicting Liverpool will be back. Uh, Villa, Villa had a good season. Uh, I wasn't too far off. Uh, Brighton is another one. Brighton, I nowhere near. I thought that I thought they'd finish mid table comfortable, but I didn't think they'd be in challenging for Europe. They were unbelievable this season. Brentford as well. That's another one. Southampton. I honestly thought they'd stay up, and I thought Leeds might just stay up, but I predicted them to be round the relegation zone, so I wasn't too far off with them once. Uh, and the rest you can see. Then we move on to the, let's do the Europa Conference League and the Europa League spots. And I had West Ham, Chelsea and Tottenham. West Ham, I got completely wrong. Um, seven off where they actually finished, the finish in 14th. But they could still end up in Europe if they win the Europa Conference League final. Obviously, the second half of the season, they put all their eggs into that Europa Conference League basket. They were, once they were safe in the Premier League, let's put it all in that. Let's win some trophies and do that. And I think that's sensible. So they could still end up in Europe. So that won't seem so far off. And if anyone tells me at the start of the season they predicted Chelsea to finish lower than where I did, I said sixth. And we had pundits saying they were they were probably going to win the league. They were the ones to be title chasing. Yeah, they had a mad season in the takeover, but they still spent 600 million. So the fact that I put them six and they finish way lower than that. They finish in the bottom half. Who would have seen Chelsea finish in the bottom half? Don't ever tell me you predicted Chelsea to finish in the bottom half. No one did at the start of last season. I put them six and that was harsh on them. But wow, they had a shocking season. Then I put Tottenham fifth and I, you know, Spursy being Spursy was what I should have thought. Um, but without Harry Kane this season, without his 30 goals, they probably would have actually been relegation form. I thought they'd have the squad to finish in Europe. I thought Kane and Son would, would have a good, you know, good enough season. Um, but yeah, they just just went off the ball and then sacking Conte didn't help and then they haven't got a manager since and oh, it's just, it's just been a bad run for Tottenham. Okay, let's move on to the Champions League positions. So I had to finish fourth, I had Newcastle United and at the start of the year when I made this prediction, someone commented, Newcastle fourth ahead of Tottenham, what are you on lad? Lad, I'm a genius. This is the only one I actually got spot on. I said Newcastle would finish fourth. People were calling me crazy in the comments like that guy said. 
But honestly, I knew I knew they'd come. People did like you saw the form of last season, at the end of last season, once Eddie Howard got his first transfer window on his belt, and the players he transformed, and those players transformed have been immense. Joel Linton has been phenomenal this season. Uh, the likes of Dan Byrne, quality, even as this new left back role. Kieran Trippier, honestly, chances created, phenomenal. And then the signings they made again this season have been solid. They've not been outrageous signings like everyone thought once the money came in. They've been sensible signings. And honestly, now Newcastle's got Champions League football, every other team should be nervous because these are the only ones maybe who could rival Man City in future. They've got the money. Now they're in the big leagues. Now they can attract the big players. It's looking good if you're a Toon fan. And then for third place, I had Arsenal. I was one off again on this one. Um, I, I thought Mikel Arteta was gonna do a good job. I thought he'd move them forward. I didn't think they'd be in a title race. I thought they'd be top four contenders. Um, but fair play to them. They've had an amazing season, but they did bottle it. I'm gonna have to say. And as a Liverpool fan, I know how hard it is to compete with Man City because they just are so relentless. But if you want to win the league title these days with the standards Man City set, you have to do 90 plus point seasons. And even that is sometimes not good enough. As a Liverpool fan, I truly know how tough that is. Then I predicted in second Man City. I know I'm, I'm a bit too club loyalist, I'm not going to lie. I thought when we, I made this prediction after the Community Shield, I thought once we battered Man City in the Community Shield, I thought, you know what, Darwizzy is going to turn up and turn everything up. I thought we'd run them the whole way. We'd just done the, come off nearly doing the quadruple last season. I didn't see our downfall, um, but Man City were going to be my other choice for top. That's why I put them second. They were even going to finish first or second, let's be honest. They were never going to finish any lower than that. Um, so it was poor on my judgment not to see them winning the league, but I honestly thought Liverpool after the quadruple would go on and win it, but they didn't unfortunately. And so my worst prediction may be Liverpool to finish first. Who would have saw their fall from grace? I certainly didn't, but then I do have very tinted Liverpool glasses um, that I wear watching football, so that might be where my downfall is. So overall, how far off was I? We'll do that Spencer uh, FC adding up system. So let me do a second, do the maths. One eternity later. So out of a possible of a score of zero being the best score you could get if you predicted it all right, I got 78 places off. Yeah, I didn't have a great prediction. Maybe I'll have a better one next year. If you want to see me do a prediction, let me know in the comments down below. Maybe I'll beat this year. If you did enjoy my little reaction to my awful Premier League predictions that are going to be said, uh, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and why not share it on social media so your friends can see. Tell me in the comment section down below, guys, how did your Premier League predictions do? Did you do better than me? Am I the worst prediction on YouTube? Or actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to say that Rory's quote about Haaland being a flop is probably worse than my Premier League prediction. But mine was close, it was a terrible prediction. But let me know how your predictions did in the comments down below and also what was the worst prediction you saw this year. Anyway, you've been watching Got Reacts. Thanks for watching and we'll be back soon with a brand new reaction for you guys. Thanks for watching guys. Yeah,